Hello everybody, you found in Tunis and welcome to another episode of in Vlogus. Before we start here, yes, I did in fact get a new haircut. Thanks for noticing, jerks! No, but that's not actually how I want to start the video. For those of you who are new to my channel and don't know what in Vlogus is, which I assume would actually be most of the people watching this, considering the fact I haven't made one of these things since my meme video went viral, but Ninvlogist is where I pretty much just do vlogs and talk about updates regarding my channel and stuff, or pretty much just anything else that crosses my mind. Or sometimes I just make them to rant, but that's called Rantunas and that's coming soon. Alright, alright, but that's enough, that's enough messing around. I should actually talk about what I want to talk about. And that is, um... What is that actually? I don't remember. If I was explain why there hasn't been a video in a week. And how you've been pretty much inactive on YouTube and so da, da, da. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it, I remember. I want to explain to you guys why I haven't posted a video in a week, and why I've been inactive on social media, and why pretty much almost every single time I've been active on my YouTube account, it's been just constant stream highlight videos for like the past two, three weeks at this point. Uh, besides that one, uh, that one top ten list that I made, you should go check that out, link in the description. But, uh... I hate to give like the basic bitch YouTuber excuse that like, oh, I've just been busy, oh, I've been busy with school, I just simply haven't had the time to do it. Like pretty much every like YouTuber makes those vlogs explaining like, oh, that's why I haven't been able to make videos. But there's a reason that they all do that the same way and that's cause it's true. I've just been super, super busy recently. I started a brand new semester of school almost a month ago at this point. I think I'm four weeks into the semester, which is amazing cause so far the semester blows. My class is kind of, Suck the diddly, to say the least. Dude, just f***ing cut that, just f***ing cut that whole thing. Diddly, who, who says that? Just, just f***ing cut that. But yeah, I simply have not had time to make new content. And that's important about now, because around like, Christmas time, I was pumping out videos, different kinds of videos, like Let's Plays, my top 10 list, uh, stream highlights, that kind of stuff. I was just pumping it out like every day, and it's because I had all those videos prepared. Like, I made them all in advance. That's one of the good things about like doing long Let's Plays is that you have lots of different videos in advance. But uh, I was only able to record four episodes of my Paper Mario Let's Play with Dennis, and I posted all those, and I ran out of those, and I don't have any more top 10 uh, videos to post right now. And I also haven't streamed in a week, so I don't have any stream highlights to make. So I literally have no content. That's why I haven't been posting, and I haven't had time to make new content to replace that because I've been super busy with school. Now, I always tell you guys, and again, this is pretty much just for those of you that are new subscribers, I always tell you guys to follow me on my Twitter, because whenever I don't post a video, or I don't have time to post one, or whenever I'm working on one, or I'll tell you guys, like, when I'm gonna post a new video, I always write about it on my Twitter. That's where I'm most active on social media, not on Facebook, or Instagram, or Snapchat, like, none of that. I pretty much exclusively use Twitter, but I haven't been using my Twitter as of recently, because I'm sort of going through a social media withdrawal, if you will. See, I'm a person who prides himself on not putting the weight of the world on his shoulders and focusing more on himself and the things that makes him happy, if you will. To just, not like be ignorant, but just try to like make the world like more focused on me. Like I want to focus more on my mindset and the media nowadays, it just doesn't promote a healthy mindset at all. Like every day they always tell you that the world is ending. And I also don't pay attention to a lot of mainstream media because it's biased or doesn't know what it's talking about or uses fear mongering, has an agenda, pretty much all that kind of stuff, and it's kind of infected social media. And that's not really a problem for me on my Twitter, because on Twitter, I pretty much exclusively follow Smash players and, like, organizations from the scene, the occasional YouTubers here and there, but, like, that's pretty much all I do on Twitter. It's, like, more filtered towards me, not just, like, stuff I believe in or political bias or anything that just, like, make me live in a filter bubble. Like, it's just stuff that I like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, video games and, like, fun things that I enjoy, you know? But even on Twitter, like, people retweet, like, propaganda shit and memes like that, like, just constantly preaching to me all the time. It's actually why I don't use my Facebook at all anymore. If, if I didn't have, like, my official Facebook account, like, my official Nintunis Facebook account, I would, like, I would never go on Facebook at all, because I never use it anymore. Like, you'll be scrolling through Facebook, like, trying to find, like, a cute puppy video or something that you enjoy, and then all of a sudden, like, there's this, like, like, fucking Marxist, like, rise up shit, like, in there, or, like, some pro-fucking, like, dick propaganda, I don't know, you, you get what I'm saying, like, I, when I go on Facebook, it's like people are constantly preaching to me, like, you really want to know what it's like? You really want to know what Facebook has become? Facebook is, like, sitting in traffic for hours on end, just wasting your time, just sitting in traffic behind somebody with a shit ton 
a shit ton of like bumper stickers just like preaching there like telling you to go vegan or that the second amendment like protects us man it's our right to have the second amendment just a shit ton of bumper stickers just force fed onto you and what are you gonna do you're in traffic you're, you're in traffic, you're like just trying to get home, like bumper to bumper. Like, you have to look at that shit. You have to look at these guys' bumper stickers right in front of you, just constantly telling you how to live, telling you how to be, all that shit, constantly. Because what are you gonna do? You're in traffic, you can't move. But on Facebook, you, you, you have the power. You can turn it off, you have the power. So that's what I did, because that's pretty much what Facebook has become. It's like a political propaganda website now, just with people just sharing a bunch of memes and fake news and like inaccurate stuff all the time. And it makes people live in filter bubbles, you know what I'm saying? What am I gonna do about what the information I'm given with? Like I already know what I stand for, what I don't stand for, what I'm against, who like, who like I'm with, like what I think is morally right. I already know all that. And I try to do what I can to like make the world a better place, but like, just having that shit constantly force-fed to me, it's not healthy. It doesn't promote a healthy mindset, you know? At least not for me, because I'm an anxious person. Like, chronic anxiety literally runs in my family. So, yeah, that that doesn't really help when, like, people are constantly sharing, like, all kinds of stuff on social media. So, yeah, that's why I haven't been using it. This kind of turned into a rant video before I even wanted to get to the point that I wanted to get to. Wow, please, please don't turn the video off. I actually have more important things that I need to say. I'm, I'm sorry, don't, don't go. I love you, just, just... Anyway... As for new content, I am making some new stuff right now. I am making a brand new top 10 list, actually completely based off of your suggestions. Like, if you look around the video right now, you're gonna see all sorts of, uh, different suggestions you guys have been giving me for top 10 lists, and... Despite what you guys may think, which, or some of you may think, I don't know, I'm not you, but like, um, yeah, I do read them all. I really do read them all. I don't reply to every single comment, but I do read them all. And I do take your suggestions into account. Actually, on my phone, like, I have a whole huge list of, like, top ten videos that I plan on making, just pretty much based on your suggestions. I'm gonna cite you guys at the beginning, if that's alright. And, yeah, I do have all that stuff planned, but it's... With the amount of effort it takes to make the top 10 videos and how consistently I want to post, it's not exactly enough. What I mean by that is, is that it's not enough for me to consistently post. Like, I can't crank out, like, a top 10 video every single day with the amount of editing it takes to make those videos, all the footage I have to gather, the intro I have to make, the outro I have to make, I have to write the script, the whole thing, it... It's among my more time-consuming videos to make. Like, among my more time-consuming videos to make. I just said that. Why did there's emphasis? My fucking, like, Josh Peck. Yo, if I was fat, I would turn to Josh Peck. That guy went from looking like Gabriel Iglesias to, like, liposuction Gabriel Iglesias. What the fuck? Anyway, I can't consistently pump those videos out every day. That is why I enjoy making uh, long Let's Plays, because it allows me to have, like, more streamlined content and more variety on my channel, if you will. Just not only top 10 videos or stream highlights, I also have those coming in, like, every other day. And that's what I did back in December for my Paper Mario Let's Play with Dennis. But that has kind of slowed down for now, if you can't tell. I, uh, I haven't posted one of those in about a month, I think two months at this point. Yeah. There is a reason for that, though. It's because I'm trash. That's why. No, no, it's not because I'm trash. Have you seen my haircut? It's fabulous. This is not a trash haircut. I paid 24 bucks for this. But, yeah, it's because me and Dennis are both very busy with school. See, me and Dennis actually go to the same school. We don't really see each other often. I don't know what his schedule is like. But, yeah, we both go to the same school and we're both really busy. Just working on our majors right now and, like, doing a lot of schoolwork. It's not just me, it's also him. And we just haven't had the time to get together for the most part. And again, this is why me and him record, like, whole sessions, like, for hours on end at a time. It's so, like, I can actually have this content to just pump out for you guys, even while me and him can't make new stuff in the meantime. But me and him only had time to make, like, four episodes the last time we recorded together, because that was on the same night that we finished our Luigi's Mansion Let's Play. So, yeah, like, it's just been kind of off, because I haven't been able to make it with him. And it's also not just that. It was pointed out to me by someone in the comment section, and this was just a total, total editing error by me that I didn't notice until the videos were already on YouTube. Like, a lot of the audio was just coming completely from the right, and I didn't notice it when I was actually editing the videos because I'm dumb and I just didn't notice it. So, yeah, like, I also am ordering some new equipment. Like, 
for my capture card so I can actually ensure that that doesn't happen. I mean, I can fix it in the editing process, but like, I just want to make sure that it doesn't happen. And also there's some like weird technical stuff with my TV that I do need some more equipment for. So I do have to order that off of Amazon and I want to order that before me and Dennis start recording again. And it's also important for streaming as well because it makes the audio all messed up as well. It's just, it's a whole ordeal that I don't want to get into right now. But yeah, there's also equipment that I need to order to start recording those Let's Plays again. And we also have to wait for a time where me and Dennis just aren't as busy. Now, I didn't make this video to tell you guys that I'm not going to be able to make these videos at all anymore. That's not what I'm saying at all. Streamlined content will come back on this channel eventually. I want it to come back on this channel eventually because that's what keeps people engaged and keeps the new subscribers wanting more, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do about it. Much like my Luigi's Mansion Let's Play, I am going to make a highlight video of the first four episodes of my Paper Mario Let's Play, and in that video, I'm gonna try to fix the audio. So, it's gonna seem like a catch-up video for, like, all my new subscribers who didn't watch the first four episodes of the Paper Mario Let's Play, and just sort of like a recap for those who have seen it, but just with fixed audio, if you will. And in that very same video, I'm going to release, like, a scheduled date as to when Paper Mario episodes are going to come back, so I'm not gonna release that Paper Mario highlight video until me and Dennis have more episodes of Paper Mario for you guys after that. Because in that video, I'm gonna let you guys know when those episodes are gonna start resuming again. You guys see what I'm saying here? It just seems like that's the best course of action with how long it's been since me and Dennis have recorded because this is how me and Dennis pretty much do it. We just, we get together one day, we record for like hours on end and just produce like a lot of episodes and it's all great. And then we don't see each other for months after that. Like me and him are still friends and we message each other, but we're both busy. We just don't get to see each other as often as I'd like to at least. I don't know about him. But yeah, me and him just go months without even really seeing each other to be able to record these things, but uh, we have been talking to each other, and we are probably going to get together sometime this month. So, at the earliest, Paper Mario episodes might resume within the second half of this month, but more likely it's going to be around March is, what it's, is when Paper Mario episodes are going to resume. But again, these are just predictions. I don't know, but I'm just telling you guys that Paper Mario episodes are going to come back. I did not forget about that Let's Play. I know it seems like I did because I didn't record anything or tell you guys anything about it for like months i mean i did make one twitter post about it but that's that's not important the important thing is is that i am going to start making those again along with several new top 10 lists that were suggested by you and with that said that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this this is pretty much what in vlogist is all about just chilling just updating you guys with some nice chill music in the background and just making sure everything is fine and dandy. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Mintunis. Thank you so, so, so much for watching again. And I will gladly see you next time. Ciao.